to welcome Jimmer Fredette to the show. Thanks for being here. Oh, thanks for having me on. I appreciate it. What's it been like being you the last five months? Uh, it's been great. It's been a lot of fun, uh, an amazing ride like to go along with the show. Uh, I think that you know I, I couldn't expect exactly what was going to happen, um, but I knew that our team could be very good and, and I could have a very good season myself. And that's what I was looking forward to doing when I came back um, for my senior year and decided to not go into the draft. Um, so it's been all I expected, and it's been a lot of fun, and hopefully it continues to go. We've still got some stuff going on, but hopefully it, it'll work out well for us. What's it like for your mother? What's this year been like for your mom? Uh, it's been different for her. Yeah. Uh, she doesn't necessarily like all the media stuff. You know, She likes to stay away from it as much as she can. Um, and wants to protect me as much as she possibly can, obviously. Um, but she's a great lady. She's taking it all in stride, and she's, she's trying to have as much fun with it as she can, and she's very proud of me. Uh, during the course of the season, there was a student who wrote a letter to the paper, uh, maybe complaining a little bit that there was too much Jimmer mm -hmm. on campus, and she received a lot of feedback. Mm -hmm. uh, but I want to ask you, at, at times this year, have you felt there's been a little too much Jimmer time? <laughs> yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, <laughs> you know, I... I I, I try to stay as low-key as I possibly can and uh, you know sometimes you go places and, and people will come up and get autographs and pictures and you know you just kind of want to chill out or whatever but you know it comes with the territory and I really appreciate all the fans that are out there and that have supported me and uh, you know if they they feel like they want to talk about me that's great you know I, I, I love the support and I love that people you know like me and like me as a basketball player and hopefully as a person and uh, you know it's been different but you know hopefully that support will continue to grow. Well there's a fan in Clarksville Tennessee named Cassidy who is a Jimmer Fredette fan All has right. sent us this letter All right. and we'll give it to you have you open it up and, and, right, uh, and it read out. it. What, uh, what's it been like getting cards and letters from so many people that uh, that you've never met? Uh, it's just it just just goes to show how big you know BYU basketball can be. You know, you always get fans across the nation just because we are an LDS school, and a lot of those people, their parents went to school here, or they, um, you know, they wanted to go to school here, and they want to be a part of the athletic program and everything. So there's, there are definitely a lot of fans across the country, and we we appreciate it. And I love the letters. I I, I love that the little kids are just like I was when I was young. Yeah, give us a couple paragraphs of this one here. All right, let's do this. All right, it says, dear Jimmer for debt. I am an eight year, eighth grader in Roseville Middle School in Clarksville, Tennessee. I have played basketball as long as I can remember and cannot wait to advance to a higher level of competition. First and foremost, I'd like to say that you are my number one role model. Your basketball skills continue to amaze me and have inspired me to put forth the effort in excelling in my basketball career. I am only 14, but I am watching you play. But by watching you play, I've realized the potential I can live up to. I have loved to be able to <clears throat> I would love to be able to play as a BYU Cougar when I am in college. Was was it always a goal of yours to remember to be a member of the basketball team? Question. Uh, my mom is always telling me to keep my education and schoolwork first. Is it difficult to be a student athlete and a member of the church in college? Um, you want me to keep? Yeah, you're going a little bit. a little more. I would give anything to be as talented you are as you are as a player and teammate. I love that you set your teammates up for success and aren't selfish with the basketball. Every time you cross someone and drain a three or perform <clears throat> one of your acrobatic layups, I get the overwhelming urge to jump up and scream. More than anything, I love your half-court buzzer beater shot against Utah. That was the shot totally put me on board with the Jimmy Media sensation. <laughs> So. When, when you get things like that and, and, and you hear the word role model and, and you hear people studying you and all they see is, is you in the game, um, what does that mean to you and, and, and do you get the feeling of the responsibility that, that, that comes with it? Uh, you know, it means a lot to me. Uh, that's, that's more important to me than any of the basketball accolades I can get is to be a good person and to try to you know, give some hope for for kids out there and have someone to look up to that has done done things correctly in the right way and has worked hard to get to where they're at. Um, I think that's by far the most important thing because basketball will come and go and uh, you can make your imprint, you know, while you're here doing these basketball things and have a great time and get all this attention. But, you know, it's it's the people that you impact, I think, that is the biggest deal so that they can go out and try to reach their goals and succeed, you know, just like you did as a kid. I think uh, that's what's fueled to Jimmer Mania, so to speak, is, uh, is you handled yourself so well on the floor and, and in the media, and, and a lot of people struggle to do both. 
uh, and now around the corner, potential national player of the year. Uh, what are some of your thoughts on that? You know, it's crazy to be in that situation. Uh, you never, you know, I thought about it as a kid. I thought about it as a kid to try to be in this position and be an All-American and, and be in the running for National Player of the Year, but you never actually really thought that was going to happen. And now that it's here and it's kind of, you know, in the in the realm and maybe might be able to, to accomplish that is is a fun thing for me to be able to see and fun thing for our, our family to see and everybody that's involved in BYU basketball um, to know that you know you can do it you know we're not a, a huge power conference and not a huge school you know in terms of all these things but we've had a great year and I've had a great year and it just goes to show that you can do it from anywhere and uh, you know it's been fun to be even even be in the conversation and hopefully you know it happens. Let's finish up with this. Uh, we sat together before the season started and you laid out your goals. You wanted to win in Las Vegas at UNLV. You did that. You mm -hmm. wanted to win the conference tournament. You did that. There are accolades that come along the way that, that have been here to win the conference regular season. Now you've got the conference tournament. Your other goal though was to get deep into the big dance which mm -hmm. which starts in about a week. Is that where you'll kind of judge the success of the season? Uh, I think partly. Yeah. I think partly, uh, you know, we've had a, one of the best seasons that BYU has ever seen here, you know, in the regular season. That's something to be proud about, and that's an accomplishment itself that we won the conference championship. That's a great goal we, that we have. Hopefully we can win the conference tournament championship. That's another goal that we have, and then move forward and do well in the big dance. And we're looking forward to do that. I know that we have a team um, that is capable of making a deep run, and uh, I'm just looking forward to having the opportunity to play and, and being able to go out there and, you know, fulfill the dream. So I'm looking forward to it, and, you know, I think we can do it. Well, you've had an amazing run. Thank you. Congratulations. I really appreciate it. We'll see you in Las Vegas. All right, sounds good. Jimmer for death.